In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to measure crankshaft runout. And I can do this using the block. You can do it using V blocks, but for this demonstration, I'm going to do it in the block because I don't have V blocks big enough to fit this crank. And you may notice I've taken all of the main bearings out of the block except for the front and the rear. And that way, if this crankshaft has any run out, which is meaning that it'll wobble up and down in the middle, that if it has any of that run out, the lack of these bearings being here will allow it to wobble up and down. So the first thing is install the crank. And what we're checking for is movement up and down on this center journal. And we're going to do that with a dial indicator. It's a magnetic base dial indicator. And I've set it up. And on the dial, you can either zero it or can zero the dial to get it set to zero and then spin the crankshaft and the spec on this engine is two thousandths of an inch and the needle is barely moving at all so this crankshaft has very little run out not enough that I can even measure it with this dial indicator so that's less than two thousandths so that's good had we seen more than two thousandths, the crankshaft would most likely have to be replaced. <laughs> 